How far are we from having self-driving cars? Depending on how you define self-driving, it may be as soon as next year. Let's find out why. The road to a truly driverless car is a long one with plenty of problems that still need solving. Because by truly driverless, we mean a car that can navigate any street, highway, or back road in any weather condition, regardless of detours, pedestrians, or potholes, with zero human intervention at any point, and then find a parking spot at the end of the journey. And by that definition, we're still a ways out. A decade by most predictions. But there is a lot more to the autonomous driving picture than the end goal, and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in the US has already proposed a classification system that contains five levels of increasing automation. Level zero is what most people are still driving today. You control the vehicle at all times. Level one, however, where individual controls are sometimes automated, such as electronic stability control and automatic braking, is already present in plenty of modern cars. Level two is defined by when at least two controls can be automated in unison, such as adaptive cruise control combined with lane keeping or automatic braking. And this too already exists on highways today. But where things really start to get interesting is level three, where the driver can hand over complete control to the car in certain conditions, only making the driver retake control when the car senses that it's not gonna be able to deal with an impending situation. Level three is something that has been solved, technologically speaking, for a couple of years now by companies like Google, Volvo, Audi, Tesla, and more. Although these companies still haven't managed to get the cars driving how they like in all weather conditions, they've met the requirements for level three automated driving. When and where you start to see this technology deployed depends mostly on two things, getting the functionality into production cars that you can actually go and buy, and making sure transportation regulations support the technology. Bosch recently released a video envisioning the user interface for level three autonomous cars. Mercedes is working on something for 2016. Nissan is targeting 2018, and Volvo, GM, Audi, BMW, and Google fully expect to have cars on the road that meet this criteria by 2020. But then there is, of course, level four, which is defined by a car that performs all driving-related functions for the entire trip with no expectation that the driver take control at any time. This is the big race for researchers and manufacturers right now. Google thinks it can get there by 2020, and even Ford is projecting 2025 for the release of their first autonomous car. So how long until you're being picked up by a driverless Uber car? Well, that may take until 2035. But one thing is for sure, it's happening. This is real, no longer in the realm of science fiction. And that's something to be pretty excited about. We'll see you all next time on Big Shiny Things.